When I started Rosewood, it was mainly because I didn't know what I was going to be doing when I got out of college. Um, I wanted to open up the art gallery, but I knew that would be hard just to sell art by itself. Um, so I decided to offset it with something else I had a passion for, which was shoes. So I got my collection, which was pretty big at the time, and a friend of mine, and I used that to offset the cost of having an art gallery. And needless to say, like, we weren't buying that much of the art, like every once in a while we'd sell something, but majority of it, of my, uh, the money I received, was from shoes. So I had to pivot the whole business. Um, when I originally started Rosewood, I had $10,000 at a shoe collection. And my rent at the time was, I don't know, it was like 4,500 a month, maybe 5,000. So I basically had enough money for two months rent. If I didn't make any money, I'd be around for two months. But I signed a five year lease. So I was basically on the hook for five years. So I really had to scramble to try to make that money. And it took me about three or four months to become profitable. And I saw like, oh wow, this is actually working. So I started investing more in shoes. And this, the business grew. And at the time, you know, like I, I knew I always wanted to go back to something art related or something bigger than just a shoe store. And there's so many times that people offered to buy it from me and I was all in because I was like, you know what, I could sell the store and I take that money and I could go after what I really wanted to do, which was art. But I saw that I could do the same thing with the shoe store. With Rosewood, I could have an art gallery um, or something art related. So I wanted to, I want, I want Rosewood to, you know, take that next step. I don't want it to be known as just a shoe store. Rosewood is more of a brand than just a shoe store. And whether that be furniture, plants, I feel like 2021 will be the year that we differentiate ourselves from other stores. And 2020, really, I can thank them. I can thank that year for it. Like 20, 2020 was one of those things that like was like one of the worst years, but somehow we made it through and we got better throughout it. So I feel like for our eighth, for our eighth year, this will be our best year and hopefully it will just keep on expanding and we'll become better and better. That's all I can hope for.